Time for a deep dive. Time for a deep dive in the deep sea. The deep sea from petrified fish. And feast your eyes on this lovely, lovely knife. It is, oh, she's a big dog. She is a big dog. Hold on, let me take a look at this. Yeah, okay. At first I was thinking, is that crown spine? No, no, it's not. It's nicely done, though. K110, Bowler K110 blade steel, carbon fiber. We will disassemble this, and so we'll be able to see the backside of that carbon fiber. And look at that silver. Yeah, so you got the silver and the black. Ooh, that's nice. I, I kind of like that, don't you? That wouldn't be bad all the way down, actually, but it's kind of a nice contrast with this as well. Not that this is lightweight. This is the PFP05, but deep sea, I think. Wasn't there, was it, oh, was that called, what was the Wii knife called? That was years ago, right? It was funky, wild design. Crazy. And then I thought it was crazy, just crazy, crazy, not crazy cool. Deep Sea Monster, was that it? Wasn't it a Wii knife? God, um, that was a while back, but that was crazy. So this is Deep Sea. And I don't know, I'm thinking that's probably G10. Or is that carbon fiber? It's hard to tell. We'll know more when we get it apart. Um, but, uh, and, oh, by the way, Petrified Fish, I mean, they have a website, so I'll give you the link to the website, but then you can check them out on, I think, Amazon as well, and, uh, of course, AliExpress as well, and White Mountain Knives. So White Mountain Knives, at least, it if it's in stock there, you know it's in the USA, you know you're going to get it in two or three days, and no tax, no shipping cost, and 10% off if you use LTK for your discount code. So there's that. You know what I'm saying? But I checked this out on, because I didn't see that White Mountain had it in stock yet. Uh, but it is in stock on the Petrified Fish site. And it's sixty four ninety nine. I mean, most of their knives have been running about forty five dollars, something like that. So this is a big jump, big jump, big money, big money. Better get your wallet out like a man. <laughs> you know, all these guys are buying these four hundred and fifty dollar knives, and I just love it. Okay, so sixty five. That's stepping up, baby. That's stepping up. And you know what? This is, ooh, this is a handful of crazy, isn't it? This is this is not a lightweight little knife. Ooh, I'm surprised it's under five. Four point nine 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 nine. Spock. Okay. So did I just did I just set my scale up to do this? No, it lost a tenth. Okay, point nine eight. Um, 141 grams. Shit. Well, I was saying, it feels heavy compared to what I've had in my hand lately, which is mostly three to four ounce. But this is almost five, banging it right on the, oh, on the, on the stick. And I thought, well, what? Typical three and a half inch blade, eight inch overall length, right? Wrong. Wrong. I'm liking it more and more. Look at that. There's four right there. I mean, down there, there's to the middle of the choil, it's four inches. Now you run up the crazy bolster, three and three quarter. So that's 96 millimeters right there. And down here, it's like 100, 102, 103 millimeter. I mean, cutting edge is 96. So that'd be three and three quarter cutting edge, right? With that that trailing at Persian sweep craziness. I'm sure they taunting you because of that. That's, that's all you have to do is do that Persian influence. You got, zzz, you, you hooked them. There's a bunch of guys that go right down the trap for that, um, including me. 
Eight and three quarter overall at t almost 22 and a half centimeters. Eight and three quarter inches. So it's under nine, but not by much. So do you think about that? Five ounces, almost four inch blade, almost nine inches overall length. We talking, we talking fat daddy, big pimp daddy. Oh, and by the way, um, 0.63. So yeah. Oh, it's so slender. It's about, uh, wow. It's about, it's a bunch more than like, eh, the paramilitary two is like 0. 0.46, 0. 0.62, right? At 16 millimeters. Now, how many, uh, how many millis are we at here? 3.4 at 0.13. But 3.4 millimeter blade stock, I mean, shit, everything I've been doing is anywhere between 2.7 and 3.1. So that's that's pretty heavy duty just in what I've been blowing around with lately. So, I mean, nothing fancy about the box. And, of course, they're not going to tell you what's in it. And there's no labels and, you know, kiss my butt and all that. But, of course... They put it on the blade, at least, the PFP05. Now, they're not saying deep sea, but they do on their thing online. So it says deep sea. So what do you think? Um, this has got black liners and black hardware, of course. Kind of really has to, doesn't it? And where's my lockup on this? 35 to 35, maybe argue 40. Disengage. Okay, watch this. So um, it, it's a little hard to see because it's black, and then this is kind of back behind it. And it's hard to see that cutaway. But yes, it hits you in the thumb. Boom. Okay, nice. Over the detent ball. Drop. Over the detent ball. Drop. Now, they don't have a fuller in here that you can... I don't even know if you can... Nah, I can't. Okay, never mind. Jimped here. So this is it, folks. It's the flipper tab. Pull, 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 pull. Okay. I'd say the detent's just where it needs to be because, yeah, uh, it's not so weak you're going to fail it. Okay, no. You're good. I wouldn't want it any stronger. It's, it's about right, I'd say. Um, and those liners are not nested, and they look pretty substantial. So, ooh, well, they're skeletonized. They do a good job fit and finish, and, you know, the details, not bad. I mean, not bad for their price range, right? And really, to tell you the truth, I don't know if they were using these same materials and then charging 75 or 80 bucks, what more they would need to clean up to be better. Because the... You know, they've rounded these. They've hit all the corners. They've smoothed it. This is nice. The plunge is symmetrical. Um, the, the grind is nice. Um, you know, it feels comfortable in the hand. The ergos are good, and that's part of the design thing. And up here, can you grab? Yeah, yeah, she could, actually. Um, and let me, let me. Okay. Let me see in my own mind um it's definitely a good factory sharp not a kind of on the dull side no it's actually i'd say it's on the sharper side it's not scary sharp but it's a good factory edge that's for sure so okay i'm good with that you know, piercing, slicing, a nice big flat grind. Uh, you know, this could be pretty useful, actually. But, yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of flair, you know, from a design standpoint. So it doesn't look like your typical haul it in your pocket work knife. But then again, hell, it's as cheap as any of them, right? So, and there's your backspacer, and that looks good. You know, and it's got kind of jimping on that. You got a lanyard hole, but you do have a backspacer, which gives it kind of a finished look. Blade to handle length looks fine. Design flow is great. Um, okay, I'm not going to bitch about it. Uh, actually, I saw one guy uh, make a comment going, 
I think this is beat the beluga out and, you know, check out the beluga from Petrified Fish. I mean, it's been wildly popular. Um, but this guy's going, I think it's just surpassed the beluga as my new favorite Petrified Fish model. And I'll tell you what, my friend, he might be close to really being right on that. Um, this is, and this is a more traditional knife because it's a top flipper where the beluga is a front flipper. This is, you know, for us older guys and people who don't really much care for front flippers. Uh, I'm neutral on it, but this is fine. This is fine. I like it. Um, yes, actually. And, I, you know, if this was all blacked out, I probably not so much. But the fact that it's got a satin blade on it, I think it's, I think it's a good looker. That's for sure. Okay, what are we going to do here? Let's, we can't get it from the front, that's for sure. That's where the logo is. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if we're going to have to get primitive. No, no. Okay, I thought I was going to, I thought I hooked into a big one and was going to have to fight with it, but no, it gave up pretty quick. Okay, next we got number sixes on here. And how are we going to go with that? Oh, baby. Wow. I think I just had an aneurysm. Wow. Okay. Now what do you got? Did I did I break the weld? What was this about? Shit, I don't know. But... <laughs> Holding on for Dear life. No, this is okay. Now, now I'm anticipating it to where like I'm ready to rip your head right off. And it's not fighting me that hard. No, nah, this one either. Well, I think you got those sunk in there good enough. Whew. Okay, so we got Long John here because you're probably going through that. Uh, well, are you? Hold on. Or are they both the same length? Come on, come on, back in through there. Come on. Nah, they're the same. Okay. That's no big deal. Oh, but we got one right under here, don't we? See? Mama. So, you better get your vocabulary ready because you might say something. You might say some things while you're doing that. Things that young children should not hear. <laughs> Baby. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. And let's do this one too. Why not? I mean, now that I'm on the verge of starting to drink whiskey. Okay, here we go. Jeez. <sighs> let's breathe. Let's breathe. Um... And I know I got you from the back side here. Okay. Let me see. Um, you know what? I think I've got the answer here. I'm going to just pull this whole thing off. And I may need one of these to do it too. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Are you going to let go? I mean, you can let go anytime. You're fine. You're free. Okay, what was I what was I doing here? I'm going to take a look. Now the storm is over of uh, loosening things. What was I doing here? What's this little notch? Hold on. Okay, so what we did here is... Oh, uh, I see. This was turning... Okay, so we were struggling because we had this piece here. And it was here, obviously, it was in here, right? The problem was, and come on, 
you can back in there if you want. Okay. Now you can. Um, yeah. I mean, and it was screwed into here, right? But the problem is this unscrewed from that side. And this screw wouldn't unscrew from this center piece. And it kept turning the center. So I finally pulled it out, and then I had to stabilize this piece and break the screw away from that, which just took some pliers to hold it and hold this in place so I could break this loose. It happens. It happens sometimes, you know. It just does. So there's the presentation side. Um, and I like the bearings. I mean, these are nice, supportive Good looking bearing rings, I mean, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, let's see what the crazy backside of this looks like. That is interesting, but that's definitely carbon fiber all the way through, isn't it? Yeah, that's not a G10 laminate or anything. And the PFP05 Deep Sea. And you know what? That's real good now that I got that uh, readjusted on the pivot. And of course, uh, wow. Yeah, that's that's great action. Yeah, I like it. It's good. The price is good. Um, I, you know, I like the design. I like the size. Uh, it's not a slender gent carry. But it's my kind of knife. Yes, it is. And we do. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.